So if you go and look at different readings, some of them are six, some of them are seven cards, some of them are even eight cards. I'm just kind of letting uh, my guides and spirit guide me. And so if you need an extra card, you need one. And if you don't, you don't. So we have four of cups reversed, two of staffs, and then two of cups reversed. Then we have the moon reversed. That hasn't shown up this whole entire month. Uh, three of Swords, Upright, Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Six of Cups reversed. All right, so with these cards here, we do have, um, like with the Three of Swords in the middle here, and then Five of Pentacles in reverse. So, you know, if you are seeing someone or if you do meet someone in March, I think it's going to be really light, and you should take it lightly. Okay, so the connection there is fun, but not to, uh, you know, have it be your end-all, be-all, Taurus. Because since you're single, that means this month that you might connect with someone, and they're probably seeing multiple people, all right, that you are unfortunately one of many. And so if you connect with them and say, I've never felt this way about someone, I just instantly am attracted and connected to you, I feel like you could be the one, and you go down that slippery slope, it's going to lead to heartbreak. Because they're not there. They're having fun. They enjoy you, but they also enjoy other people. All right? So it's this is not somebody who you can... Um, really sink your teeth into, well, physically, absolutely, but emotionally and for the longevity of a relationship, it's it, it's fun. It's a fun situation and that you should actually set your sights on um, on a different relationship if, you, if you're looking for longevity, if you're looking for a long-term relationship. Now, if you're not, if you're not looking for that, then this is perfect, but just make sure not to connect emotionally because the moon reversed really speaks of feeling like uh, an almost obsessive connection with them. And so if you feel that and you haven't, mm, you haven't been together for a very long time, understand that it is lust. Understand that it, even though you feel like you're on fire, everything is connecting, it's most likely lust. Uh, because with the Six of Cups, too, and the Two of Cups reverse, Two of Cups reverse is, you know, uh, soul lesson, not soul mate. All right? It's, um, they're coming in to teach you a lesson, and then as soon as you learn it, they're, they're gone. So this is, uh, this is the lesson here, is to love fully at the moment. And then when it's done, it's done. Uh, because with the Six of Cups reverse, as I was, I was about to say, is that you're not going to have felt this way before, right? This is going to be something out of your territory. Like, the, the amount of lust that you have for this person, it's going to feel like you have been together for a very long time, that you have had past lives together, and most likely you have. But I, I cannot stress enough that they are connected to multiple people and multiple soulmates of their own. And so not to feel neglected and feel like they have betrayed you because they are seeing other people. Because you don't have that level of connection yet. And it's okay, even though it's kind of it's going to kind of like slap you in the face. Like, what? Wait, you're seeing other people? But what about our connection? Mm, yeah, the connection's there, but mm, they have connections elsewhere, too. So don't allow this, this relationship to become your end-all, be-all. Enjoy it, have fun, and then go on your merry way, you know? Love and release. <laughs> like catch and release with fish. <laughs> Love and release. <laughs> Okay, let's pull on the universal love cards to see what happens here. Okay, the goddess. Mm, beautiful. Okay, and you get extra here, too, because it sorrow and creativity. They just were stuck together, so. Ah, let's talk about this. You are my god goddess. Okay, Taurus? You are exhibiting this, this power, this sensuality, this sexuality, 
you know, you, people are drawn to you. They want you. And so this person who's coming in, who is seeing other people, can't help it. They just want you, Taurus. They do. And so with that brings a, a level of sorrow for you because they want you, but they don't want to keep you. All right? But it's going to help you realize that relationships, because of this creativity card popping up, that relationships come in different shapes and sizes and that it's not all cookie cutter. I love you. Then we move in. Then we get married. Then we get a dog. Then we have a, have a kid. And then the kid goes off to college. And then we retire and travel in an RV. <laughs> there is no cookie cutter. That's not going to happen. Your relationships are meant to fulfill you in different ways. And that, the, and your relationships can only do that if it's not in that cookie cutter way for you, Taurus. So, and also this relationship is going to open up your third eye to creativity, to a different way of thinking, to a different way of living, which needed to happen. So your true love can come in. Two of Cups Reverse talks about that, that your true love is there. They're just waiting for you to get to where they are. <laughs> and so with the moon and sorrow, yeah, yeah, it, there's a little bit of sadness. And that's okay to feel, absolutely. But don't let it become obsessive. Don't let it become the center of your month. You know, think of all the beauty and the, the great times you had with this person. It doesn't take away from that, your time together. You are the goddess. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go on to the couples. Hello, my Taurus couples. How are you? All right, let's get into it. This is for uh, couples who have at least one person who's a Taurus in it. Let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us, calling in the divine. Taurus couples, what? Do you need to know for March? What's the energy? Taurus, rising sun and moon. Oh, this one. This one's important. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Five of staffs reversed, six of cups reversed, two of staffs, seven of pentacles reversed, ten of cups reversed. Oh, you get an extra card too. Temperance and page of swords. Okay. I'm going to move these over here. And then I'm going to move this up. Okay, so even though for some reason... My guides are saying this, and they're telling me to tell you this, Taurus. For those in a couple, some of you guys are going to get pregnant, and you're not ready for it. All right, and there's going to be a big fight about it. The Page of Swords energy is popping up as a child. And that you're not ready, you don't have the money, you don't have the lifestyle, things aren't, you're not ready to have this kid. All right, Taurus, and, and, it, and it freaks you out. You're like, all of my plans in the future are gone. How am I going to take care of this? I don't have enough wherewithal to make it happen. And it's, it is freaking you guys out. Okay? But the Page of Swords energy is in the upright. So this message that's coming in is for the positive. It's to help you out. And the Five of Staffs in reverse is saying, don't fight with each other. Work together. R work together. And plan, because it's two of staffs and the page of swords are the only two cards that are in the upright. And the two of staffs really speaks of planning. That this new beginning is just starting, and it's glorious. Even though right now you feel completely out of balance, you don't have enough, you, you, it's, there's, you're not in a happy <laughs> you know, relationship situation. In fact, you guys might have been fighting a little bit before this. And you feel like you still have lots to learn and you need to let go of something from the past. But with all of this happening, you can do that. Stop fighting it. 
let go of past cycles with your partner. Let go of it. Understand that beauty in relationship, that happiness in relationship ebbs and flows. And that you should always want to be with your partner, even if you guys are going through a tough time. Yes, we all have a lot to learn. And in your relationship, I, I mean, I do feel like a lot of Taurus couples are actually going to therapy or contemplating getting therapy. Do it going to help you. Absolutely. Do it. Things are out of balance between the two of you. And even if you're not having a child, you're going to get a message that's like having a child. That's going to be a huge wake-up call of how you want to work this relationship. But the beauty of this situation is all the cards don't speak of, of, of breaking up. All the cards speak of uh, transforming, transcendence. Finding your rhythm with one another. And how do you do that? Is by changing what you believe to be a successful relationship. Do you believe that the only successful relationship is being married? Um, being, you know, going through all the steps of relationship? And you know what, Taurus singles are kind of going through the same thing. You have to redefine your relationship for you and your partner only. It's no one else's relationship. So you need to look at each other and say, this is what I need. This is what you need. Let's work together to make this happen. And guess what? It's not going to be cookie cutter. It's not going to be, okay, well, then we need to go to the Olive Garden every Thursday, and that'll solve everything. One of your partners might say, hey, you know what? I actually need to go um, model naked for art classes. And it will shock you. It might be you, actually, Taurus. Uh, or something along the lines of that that's just, like, a little bit provocative. Pushing, pushing the edges a little bit. But if that's what they need, and it's not hurting you, and it's not hurting anyone else, why not? So you don't have the conventional, but you have your joy and your happiness as a relationship. Maybe your partner says, I never want to get married, but I want to be with you forever. So what? <laughs> Marriage doesn't supply love. It's a piece of paper. It's okay if you both are satisfied in raising each other to your highest. So that's what I want you to really think about through March with your couple is are you trying to live in a relationship bubble that is preconceived by society? Or are you living in a relationship that is created by you and your partner in love? So let us pull from the Universal Love Deck just to give a little added guidance. Okay, so expectancy. Oh, well, well, okay. And creativity. Okay. Oh, well, like I said, some of you guys are going to be getting pregnant. Expectancy. But this is also the birth of a new relationship, too, a birth of a, um, a new union. And that you're going to have to be creative about it. Like I was just saying, I really don't have any more to say. Like, this is perfectly what I just said. Uh, you know, you're going to have to birth a new relationship. And it's not going to be like anything you've seen. But that's fine. Because no one else is in their relationship. Only you and your partner. So honestly, screw what other people think. Do your joy. Do your happiness. If it doesn't hurt anyone else. And if it doesn't hurt anyone, and it makes you a better person, heck yeah, go for it. If you guys are pregnant, I expect a couple kids with the name Heart in there. <laughs> I kid. <laughs>